So you guys uh, were tweeting me and sending me a new video that uh, Adam Saw dropped. And um, it was clear to see who the video was geared towards. And I'm going to respond to it. And I'm going to respond to it the best way I can. Without further ado, I'm Kareem and this is Are We Cuckoo Now? So let's get started. I mean, I tried putting my thoughts together about this, but... I'm someone who likes to be honest. I'm someone who likes to call out bullshit. As much as people hate that, and I know, you know, in this industry, you can't do that. Believe me, I keep my mouth shut about a lot of things, but I just hate when, when people try to throw me under the bus and make me look bad. You know, I never say anything that's not true or make anything up to make someone look bad. You say you have a lot going on, yet you have to jump in, make vague tweets, and a vague video. Baiting scares into thinking that that tweet you made was for FouseyTube. And he actually tweeted this out. He said, it's crazy how people love to start drama for attention, live your own life, and focus on yourself. So I actually think he's talking about FouseyTube here. And he actually tweeted this out. He said, it's crazy how people love to start drama for attention, live your own life, and focus on yourself. So I actually think he's talking about FouseyTube here because he went on to tweet this out. He said, instead of bashing other people for attention or using their past to make them look bad, focus on making yourself a better person. But then he says this. He said, I've always wanted to make a video stating my opinion on the Muslim community on YouTube don't know still thinking so what I'm thinking here is he's talking about people like FouseyTube he's talking about other Muslim youtubers we've seen before I know Kareem's one of them he has over a million subscribers there is a huge huge Muslim community on YouTube right now and there might be a ton of drama that happens with that community very very soon especially if Adam makes his video when in reality it was geared towards me as you see by all the responses here not once did you tell your fans, no, this is not about Yusuf, no, this is not about Kareem. You just left it as it is. Because you knew exactly what that will do and what it will create. You just let them send hate and negativity and you played innocent. It's like a mini FouseyTube situation. Using drama to end drama. How does that even work? It caused many issues because you were so vague with that tweet and it was very ambiguous. And the reason why I say this is because I know you, Adam. We've been friends for some time and I know the type of person you are. And you used to do this a lot. First off, I like to defend my name. Though you didn't mention my name, your diehard fans knew exactly who you were talking about and came my way and sent me negativity and attacked me. If you were about positivity, it would have been really nice to tell your fans to stop attacking me like I always do. I always tell my fans that when I do something, I don't want hate sent towards that person because I never ever want to be the reason for someone getting bullied or attacked because I know how that's like and I've been on the end of it and if you remember on my birthday, that's when we started having our arguments. Now the past is in the past and I've already forgiven you for it, but I do have to bring back some of the things that happened in the past to develop some context for the viewers that we have watching us right now. If you're going to talk about it publicly, then I feel it's only fair to make them understand what we're talking about publicly. The reason why there's so much YouTube drama nowadays is because the truth easily comes out now. It's really hard to hide your true self. It's hard to create something and, 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 and build this fortress where no one will know who you really are. It's not like that anymore. The YouTube community has grown and now it's checking people and it's bringing out the truth and it's bringing honesty for people. Like these drama channels are a good thing. We need to know what's going on with people and at the same time, it also puts us in check so we don't slip up and do anything that's bad, which will in turn, you know, kick us in the ass. You know what I mean? All I wanna do is that I'm not bringing you hate, I'm not bashing you, I'm not saying anything bad about you or anyone that I mentioned in this video or anyone from the Muslim community. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to put things in perspective and make this stuff clear for everyone so we could finally put this shit behind us. Adam Saleh, I'm not gonna be vague, I'm not gonna be indirect, I'm going to be completely crystal clear. First off, I agree with you about the Muslim YouTubers who are very religious and like to bash us and expose us. You've had that happen to you and I've had that happen to me. And I've had it happen countless times. And it wasn't pretty at all. We have people killing in the name of Allah around the world in these terrorist acts and they don't condemn or talk about that. Yet they're wasting their time on us, moderate Muslims who are just trying to spread a good message and happen to slip up here and there and try to use that against us. I would wish that they could talk about these people who are committing these crimes and these atrocities in the name of Allah. You've talked to my brother and he talked to you and you guys had a really nice conversation which is, which is great. And it gave me hope that we could finally end all this stuff. You were talking about how I retweeted that tweet where it was exposing you. And honestly, I didn't notice the picture at first because she was defending me. And when I saw someone defending me, I retweeted it 
just to be like, see guys, you know, no one's perfect, now leave me alone. When I looked at her picture and I started seeing all the other things that she was posting, I felt bad and I deleted it right away. I take fault for that. That's my fault and I apologize that I did that. I hope you remember that I am a loyal person and I've always been a loyal friend. And you know that, Adam, because I took a lot of shots for you and I covered up for you. You know that, and I'm not gonna go deep into it, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, in your video, you're saying Muslims are bashing other Muslims, implying that I bashed FouseyTube. I wasn't. I was just speaking the truth at a time where I felt safe. Think about it. If he wasn't getting his ego checked and he wasn't in the position he is in now, would he have even responded to the Muslim drama that's going on in the community? Would he have even said anything about it, tweeted about it? Would he have tweeted your hashtag? Tell me. Do you think he would even care if he wasn't in the position he is today? I honestly think he would have ignored it and not cared at all. I'll just say maybe to be fair. Maybe he would have responded to it, but I honestly feel that he would have not. But you and I know that there is no better time to speak out than now because of what's going on. This way we could go to the root of the problem. It's a better time to speak out because everyone's ego is getting checked. Mine, yours, everyone. Because no one should be above anyone. I never had problems with you, Adam. I never did. I was just shocked and disappointed when you did the things you have done to me in the past. Especially when I confronted you about it and your ego was so huge to the point where you tried to fight me, throw stuff at me, call me not, you know, say I'm not a Muslim, that I'm atheist, and, and, and literally try to fight me in public in front of everyone. You know, every time I think about that, it really upsets me because, you know, you are my best friend, and when you have something like that happen, it's like, what the fuck? If you guys do not believe this happened, ask Slim, ask Shake. You know, they were there, and they said that it was really messed up, but I have forgiven him for it. I do forgive him for it, but I just never really trusted him after that. But you know, again, I know you have an anger problem. You have a really big anger problem that you gratefully hide in your videos, but at the same time, you have contradicted yourself and have showed it in some of your videos. And I hope someday, inshallah, that your anger problem will be suppressed and that you will deal with it. Because I'm not gonna lie, I had an anger problem too, you know? Uh, I used to get into fights, I used to go really crazy, and I had some issues with that, you know? But I learned to suppress mine. I hope you can suppress yours. Now, I don't want to get into too much detail about what happened that night in the hookah lounge. But if you guys watch my Twitch and you follow me on Twitch, you know exactly what happened. And that's that. Another thing that upset me, Adam, is that I told you my deepest secrets. My most deepest secrets that no one knows but you. Because I had no one to talk to. And I revealed them to you. And then I find out about them from other people. Now don't tell me it's a coincidence because there is nobody, not even my mother, that knows some of the things that I told you and I hear it from other people. Which means you've been talking and talking and talking behind my back saying all these things to make me look bad. Something I never ever did to you. You talk behind my back to make yourself look better than I am. I understand that sometimes people will feel intimidated and threatened by a certain person, but you having to go that low really upset me. And you know what reassures me about that and makes me believe that these other people did hear that from you, in fact? When you told me about all the haram things that Yusuf did with you on the show with Ellen, when you guys were best friends and you hung out together. I'm not going to bring them up, it's none of my business, and I'm not here to expose anyone like I said. I'm just here to make things clear, to know where I'm coming from and why this whole situation is happening. You told me everything that Yusuf did, right? And you also told me that Yusuf told you to drop Sheikh and Abdullah so you could be more successful by yourself. And there's countless other things you told me about Yusuf which I'm not going to bring up, but these are just the main ones. You started to make me hate being inspired by Yusuf or even supporting his stuff because you would literally send me texts bashing me for doing so. So then I literally would start being very negative towards him to satisfy you as my friend and keep you as my friend. And since I didn't know who Fuzi was, it's better to stay loyal to my best friend than to someone who I don't know. You even used to push me to say bad things publicly about him. And you would say, oh, say this, say that. Yo, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, ba I'll back you up. I'll, I'll, I'll defend you if anyone says anything. Where my stupid, naive self believed that, and I would literally go and say something bad publicly, which in reality you wanted to say, but I was being your conduit because I'm such a moron, and I'm so stupid, I want to keep friends, that I would do something like that. And you would stay and remain looking innocent and good. Until this day, I cannot believe it, but you played me. I'm an idiot. I should have known you were using me as a shield to make yourself look good and myself look bad. But you know what? I'm taking fault for this. It's my fault. But you know what? 
I'm happy that happened because it developed this character where now I don't take bullshit and I will speak out no matter what. Oh, and the funny thing is, did you actually defend me? No. You made a very vague post. You were like, oh no guys, I think we should all be together and not fight and this is ridiculous. And I was like, damn. You didn't defend me, you just basically tried to come out like the better person. I learned a lot from you, Adam. And from those days, I started to realize who you really were. But did I ever hate you? Absolutely not. Never once did I hate you. Now guys, I know this is in the past and a lot of you are going to be like, well, this is the past, don't bring up the past. Everything we do is going to be in the past, no matter what it is. So sometimes we have to talk about it. Now the reason why I'm bringing it up is for context. Not to bash or expose anyone, but for context to show you where I'm coming from. Because I hate being the bad guy. I hate being hated for something I didn't do or something that I never meant. So with that said, that is all in the past. It's over with, it's done with, and I have forgiven him for it. Now with that said, I enjoyed our times together. We had a lot of laughs and a lot of great memories. And would I love for that to come back again? Hell yeah, who wouldn't? The only thing I never really liked about our friendship is that in order to be a friend with you, I had to cut off a lot of other people from my life. And it was a life I didn't want to live. I didn't like that. I love having a lot of friends. I love being with other people and talking to other people. But you would always cut that off from me. And you would always bash me if I was talking to someone that you didn't like, which I felt was really childish. And again, like the stupid naive person I was, I would literally listen to you and not hang out with these people. But I never stopped responding to them and messaging them. And luckily, I continue to do so. That's why I'm friends with them today. And we still hang out like good buddies. But with all that said, you said you want positivity. So let's put the past in the past. Everything I talked about, that was the past. You probably changed and you're probably a better person now. I can't really say because I haven't hung out with you in such a long time, but to be honest, who am I to say you're a good or bad person? This is just things that I've dealt with and experienced with you. Now, everyone else is free to judge however they want. You talk about spreading positivity and that you want positivity now. Well, then let's do it. Let's give the fans the positivity that they need, that they truly want and truly deserve. Even though I did not have to apologize I want you to accept my apology, and I want an apology from you. I made it public, and I literally threw my pride on the ground, and I apologized to you publicly. And I still have not till this day heard a response where you accept my apology. Now see, this is where I'm checking your ego, just like I checked Yusuf's ego, because there is a certain problem with you guys, because I feel like you two are pretty much the same. I mean, you guys look alike too. Just so you can at least apologize for the dirty things you did about my ex. My girlfriend at the time went through a lot because of what you were doing. From your snaps. To you making fun of the fact that she was younger than me. From you being jealous that Mia Khalifa followed me, which is so stupid, that you had to use her in your snap. I would love for an apology. I apologize. Do you want me to apologize again? I am sorry, Adam Saleh, for everything that's happened and if I hurt you, alright? I'm not gonna make it vague, alright? I apologize to everyone who I've probably hurt. I want an apology for all the things that you've done to me, Adam. From ripping me apart on Snapchat, thinking that no one is going to see it when you don't realize that my fans are your fans, your fans are my fans, and that they actually took pictures and downloaded everything you made on Snapchat to send it to me. You made yourself look really, really bad. And I was shocked when you did that. My ex-girlfriend at the time did not deserve that. You made my life a living hell on my birthday. And I literally apologized to you the next day so it could stop. And I did nothing wrong. I apologize just so you can feel yourself. And then I heard from other people, you were like, oh, he apologized? Fuck that guy. She still didn't deserve that, Adam. She's still a girl, and I, th I don't think we should really, really attack women the way you did. Because that was purely disgusting and, and very, very upsetting, because she did nothing to you. If you wanted to come at me, I understand, bro. But she's a woman. She'll be a mother someday. She, she's someone's sister. She's someone's daughter. What you were doing was absolutely disgusting and doesn't stand for what you're trying to portray today. But again, it's in the past, so I forgave you for it. I want an apology for you making fun of my age. 
and letting your manager rip me apart on his Twitter, saying literally this. Damn, it's freaking hot in here, bro. And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you would let your manager say all these things and you would not stop him because it's what you feel and what you want to say, but you're letting him say it. You know, kind of like what you used to do with me and, you know, let me say the things that you want to say, but you end up looking like the good guy and, you know, I never said it. It was him. But, uh... That was all in the past. I just want an apology. And uh, for what the manager said, you know, I have responded to it before, but I want to make a statement to you guys, my viewers out there. It is never too late to chase your dreams, no matter what age you are. You want to spread positivity, right? Well, then talk to Yusuf and tell him that I would like to clear things up with him. I know I'm a nobody to him and that he wouldn't want to squash the beef with me since I'm not as big as scarce. But if you guys want positivity, I'm here willing to make it happen. I would love to hear an apology from him about what he said to me in the past, but at the same time, I want him to accept my apology. You know what? You don't even have to apologize, Yusuf. Um, I would love it if you could accept my apology, and that's all I need, that's all I want, nothing else really. You're all about positivity? Then talk to your best friend Sheikh Akbar and patch things up with him. He knew you longer than I have. Be honest with your fans. They love you and you will never look bad to them, so there's nothing to worry about. Tell them the real reason why Sheikh had to leave True Story ASA. Tell them the honest reason why Sheikh left. They deserve to know. I hate seeing Sheikh depressed. I hate seeing him upset about this whole situation. It's so hard to get him to make videos with us now or be in a video because sometimes he'll feel down. And I hate seeing that. Me and Sheikh tried to patch things up with Slim. On Ramadan, we tried to go to Slim's place to, to, to check up on him since he was in the hospital and just make peace and clear everything out. But he wasn't available and we couldn't make it happen. But that doesn't say that we won't try again. Now, I'm not doing this because I want anything from you guys. And I hope you don't think that because I know your ego might sometimes get the best of you and you think, oh, he's trying to, you know, get in our good graces because he wants our fan base. He wants this from us. He wants that. Nah, I don't want nothing. Believe me. All right. We could do this all behind the scenes and we don't even have to mention it. I just want peace and positivity, which you guys are looking for, too. And I'm doing this because you were like a brother to me, Adam. I made you, Slim, and Shake come to my place, my mom fed you, and my place was your place, and you were welcome anytime. To be honest, the fans and their negativity has made it worse. Uh, they always don't know what's going on, and then they get really defensive, and then they start pushing all these things and negative things left and right, and it gets really, really bad. But I don't blame them, because I know they get shocked. You know, they love us, and we love them too. So when they see things like this happening, it it really, really breaks them down. However, I'm doing this to show the reality to our viewers. Because to be honest, I really don't think this positivity thing that you guys are pushing for is really what you want. You want to send a good example to the YouTube community? Then let us be the very first to talk it out and forgive each other. Or we can let this keep going and show how hypocritical we are. Adam, Yusuf, the Muslim community, all of you, you're all not perfect and neither am I. I am throwing my ego and pride aside to give the fans what they truly want. For us to be cool and support each other again. I never even expose how your videos are made. Show me a video or anywhere in my life where I said, oh, this guy fakes that or this guy fakes this or, you know, throwing these people under the bus. No, because that's what brings you bread. I will never do that because I don't like fucking with people's money. So to finish this video, I'm going to start it with the first move. I'm going to text Adam Saleh right now that I'm willing to meet up with him, with the guys, all of us together, and that we are going to fix the situation and be good people again. The text, Adam, I'm hoping to meet you soon to talk things out under whatever conditions you like. And here is the text to show you guys that I'm literally texting it to him. Boom, right there. It is sent, and now we will see if he will respond. The text has now been sent, and now the move is on you, Adam to show people is it truly positivity that you want. I hope it is because I want positivity too. I hope that we could fix our situation with me, you, and the boys over some hookah like the good old days. Yusuf, since you blocked me on Twitter, there is no way for me to reach you. But since Adam is texting you and Adam knows me, then you know how to reach me. And I hope to hear from you too. I hope you all respond. If not, then cuckoos, adumis, and bra bras, you know exactly who's keeping their word on positivity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, love, and unity, and I'll see you the later.